Shalom Lev, everyone. Shalom. And Shalom Lev. Yeah, I'm here, to, I'm here to speak about it. You know, the continuation. The continuation about, about Yeshua. And I did show you the part one about his uh, complexion, right? And I did show you about the Caesar Augusta, how Caesar Augusta look like, and how Yeshua supposed to look like. And also, also, I want to rephrase it to you, what is written in the Word. If you check on Revelation, chapter chapter 1, verse 14. It was written, his, his head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, if you look at the one I showed you the pictures from the beginning, you see his eyes is red and his complexion. Now, the white wool is the turban. He was wearing the turban on his head. He was wearing a turban. Don't, don't get confused. He was wearing a turban. And here's, and here's that complexion when I show you. Here's a person of, of color. If you look at Jacob, Abraham, and Sarah, Sarah from timeline, they are people of color. And yes, I do understand that the kids of sight was in Egypt under the Israelites at that time. They were Edomites. But they were not known as Israelites. To call them Israelites. To call them, to call them say, hey, they Jew. No. They Jewish. Even, even Esther was talking about it between the Jew and the Jewish. And the language, and also the language during that time line, during the, all the way through the Ashur, he speak Aramaic. And Aramaic is not the one you look at it today. The old Aramaic is the one that you look at it and you see the writings. The right is different if you check it. And also, the language is different. Different parts of the nation. Now, let me get back to it. Yahshua is a, per a person of color. And that will, when I was talking about the verse for Revelation from chapter 1, verse Verse 14. 14. The way he was talking about wool, he was wearing a turban on his head. And yes, on that verse, they did talk about the garment he wear. He did wear a long garment. He did wear a garment. And he also wear a turban. Not to make it no confusion between what you call a religion. Because we... It's not supposed to be involved in no religion. But the truth is, the real tradition of a, of a Jew, Hebrew, and Israelites, that Yeshua is a person of color, and he's not an Edomite. He's not no Amalekite. He's not no Salah. And he's not no Esau. It's not no Esau. That's that's why you have to know the the family, a family for that for that color. Ishmael is a people of color, but Yahshua is a person of color. And I'm just letting everyone you know, 
he had a, a complexion. When you went to India, you see how Indian look like? You know the part they call the untouchable? Yahshua was that complexion. And the same way how they treat over there, it's the same way how they treat Yahshua. And that's why they have things that's tied to treat him today. But Yahshua was wearing a wool. A wool means a turban. And he do wear a long garment. And yes, that's the truth of him. The way how they to show that they, they dress him the other way, no. And that's all I want to say for that part. And Caesar Augusta, he's an Esau. And you know he's a relative to Esau. And a Sarah Sarah. And yes, he was claimed to, he was known to be Jewish. Because he's an unbeliever. He's a Gentile. And that's the real Gentile in the way how it is today. And a lot of people claim them that they're the chosen one, but they're not the chosen. Only Yah could judge us. Not me, not you. But he also did say the truth will set you free in his words. And that's it. And that's a wrap. There's no way out of this. None of that. That's the truth. Shalom. And yata.